it looks like it's holding up a little bit better with the weather. So, uh, are you ready to day trade? Are you actually driving? I'm gonna drive. Get out of it. I haven't driven this car yet, but... But he's going to, but we're gonna make it happen. Are you ready to day trade <laughs> for everyone? I'm ready. What We've you, done this many times, as you know. What um, do you think you start off with, or what is it's in your mind? CrowdStrike, Amazon, um, Amazon oil stocks, well. because, again, uh, I think we're going to keep seeing good upside. My mom asked me about Amazon. She goes, should we buy? Yes. I, she I told her no, because we already own it. All right. So, but you think it's it's good trading stuff for now because once it goes 20 to 1 mm -hmm. average people psychologically will yep right? it makes it available to more folks it's not a fundamental thing changed about the company but they did add a 10 billion dollar buyback too so mm -hmm. it's not just the stock split it's like when apple went to like 100 bucks a share and it was like 90 or something mm -hmm. like that. and everybody's gonna like buy it for their kids or their grandkids do you want to put it on there we know the rest of that story. Okay, so off we go to the event. Glenn. Okay. Well, here we are. The players. Welcome to the players. Spanish moss and trees. Is that what that is? Spanish moss? Yeah. That was pretty painless to get through. It was easy. Yeah. We just had the uh, tags on the bags and that made it easy. I'm so used to being, you know, molested by the TSA. And you like that. You always are willing to pay extra for that. <laughs> you know, I'm treated like a criminal. Shoes, belt, you know. Oh, that lady yesterday with the high heels on. Mm -hmm. And you alerted me to something. High heels have more... Uh, either very dense or they have metal. Yeah, so this girl was like... Big dog? AJ's over there. She was about 5'5". Five, five, and then she turned into about 5 foot after she took sure. off her heels at the TSA. And then she like... Then they made her take off her belt. I felt bad for her. She was like, you know, what's the point of TSA if you can't do that? Anyway, we're here at the Players Club. The Players Event. Not the Players Club. I'm thinking Telly Savalas. Remember that? TPC Sawgrass. Yeah. Remember Telly Savalas? Players Championship. I do. The Players Club, right? Yeah. Isn't that his thing? Present off shows and entertainment? Come on. Call Players Club for much more information free. You're too smart to pay full price. New members get two free nights in Las Vegas or Atlantic City. One. You want to be a player? Remember Telly Savalas? Anyway, so you pointed out the Spanish moss. That is pretty. I like that. I think we should get going. I think we need to keep I, going. Let's see. If he gets through his. If he gets through his. Yeah, this place is beautiful. All right. So I took my tag and put a new one on. Now, Chris informs me that this place was built for the players. This club was built for this event. So everything you see here was built for that. Wow, that wonderful. And we've determined, yes, there is a lot of snakes here in Jacksonville. I think today's theme is going to be snakes. There's just too many snakes on this plane. <laughs> snakes on a plane. Okay. It's not the snakes you got to worry about, Andrew. It's the gators. The gators. That's true. Okay, so here we go. So it looks like they got one of these big screen what do you call it i think you just did call it a big screen something it's kind of nice so it's already started first round and they got little you can sit out here in one of your on the round dock chairs charge your phone via solar very green. Sit under some Spanish moss. Spanish moss. And then the uh -huh. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so this is how it looks. Market Rebellion is up these steps. This is the 17th hole. This is where we're going to be doing live trading. Some more of that Spanish moss. Love that. Anyway, give you a kind of how this works. You know, most people see things and they're just like, what exactly are you doing? Getting my steps in, that's what I'm doing. Oh, this is gonna be nice. It's like walking in the Wrigley for the first time. You know, I never forgot that. I took my son to Wrigley Field. This is kind of kind of the same experience. That's what it looks like. So Chris, yes. hey. what is what are you showing? You feel like a Leonard DiCaprio. Welcome to the Market Rebellion suite at the players. You like the Leonard DiCaprio on the Titanic. Welcome back. Okay, this is the live training event. Hey. Look at this. Yes. This is Paul Traders. So Pete. Okay. And look at this. Holy. Your you had a wider mouth. Yep. And, so, and a bigger target to hit. Yeah, bigger target where you still make money. Yeah, you just don't make as much uh -huh. because if you sell the straddle, which is of course what right, you're doing, which is what the market makers are thinking about and looking at in terms of volatility and and what the strikes might be, mm -hmm. you know, and and for his his or her trade. Yep. Yeah. So they're using the straddle. But what they do when they see it, you know, if your broker can show it to the crowd, right. is they look at it and say, okay, as long as I'm buying something on the bid mm -hmm. and selling something close to the offer, they'll probably take the trade, they'll take the other side of it. But they won't bet against you the whole time, they'll just bet against you for that moment. This guy, trading is going pretty well. Hopefully everybody's making enough money to pay for their trip. But unfortunately, the rain in Spain is falling mainly on the plane of this 17th hole. So, they blew the horn, and the walls came tumbling down. And that means no more play until the rain slows up. It's unfortunate, but we're staying dry up here. Hey, Dirk, how do you think things are going? Going swimmingly, no pun intended. Swimmingly. Well, I guess we'll probably need another hour. Oh, no, not even that. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, we're back in the game. All right. about patience, time and patience. Take your stop. The alert went out on the DIC code, right? Now you can actually have a zombie collector for Christmas. Because then we could set a floor. I'll text you. I'll text you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. So part of the festivities for the weekend is to golf, top golf. The sun finally came out, which is cool. Let's do it. So that's like the, it's like the air, it's like the airport. You got to work. Yeah, somebody asked her. We certainly were not. <laughs> Greg says hello, by the way. All right, have a good time, guys. All right. Thank you, Thank you brother. Appreciate it, man. Pete, I might take a look at a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> Championship one, yeah. Skin, skin, skin. You had a little right twist on there. 
Skinny knows how to hit a ball. No, he's a good golfer. He stopped for like Skinny was in about a ten year span. Twenty. Twenty he threw every every club in his bag into the water. And he said when when he said when I when I run out of clubs, I'm not gonna play golf. And he went twenty years solo and then the all of a sudden, this whole thing with the pandemic, and now he's back. Oh, yeah, well, what's he said? He knows all the hitters. He's a good hitter. He's a heavy hitter. It's kind of a short release. You kind of do this. It's almost a hockey release. Yeah, it's like a hockey. Hockey players are all great in golf. They are. We got a yoga guy ready to spank this sucker. 